Greetings, everyone. Welcome to e, e Learning Hub. I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question two from the 2018 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part A. It says a regulated variable output DC power supply consists of four basic subcircuits. Part one of A. Using the following block diagram, label each block to show the correct order of the four sub-circuits for the power supply. So here we have the four blocks. And as you can see, the labels are already in place. So for the first block, we have the transformer. Second block, we have the rectifier. The third block, we have the filter. And the final block, that's the regulator. So those are the four sub-circuits. All right, so that's it for part one of E. For part two, it says state the function of any two of the sub-circuits identified in E part one for the DC power supply. All right, so instead of stating the function of any two, I went ahead and state the function for all of them. So for the transformer, it is used to step down high voltage AC means to low voltage AC. For the rectifier, it is used to convert AC to DC, but the DC output is varying. For the filter or the smoothing circuit, so it is used to smooth the DC from veering greatly to a small ripple. And the final one, which is the regulator, it eliminates ripple by setting DC output to a fixed voltage. All right, so those are the function for each of the sub-circuits. And that's it for part two of A. For part B, it says on the black diagram in A1 on page eight, sketch a 110 volt VRMS sinusoidal input voltage waveform as it passes through each subcircuit and moves towards the output DC voltage of the power supply. All right, so here we have the different waveform as it moves through each stages of the power supply. Now, here we have a sine wave. All right, so this is a sine wave that will be going into the transformer. From the output of the transformer side, you're also seeing another sine wave, but there's a difference between both of them. The input sine wave is greater and the output sine wave is smaller. And that is because the transformer is used to step down the voltage. Now, the output sine wave here will be going through the rectifier. When Once it pass, passes through the rectifier, it will be converted to a pulsating DC waveform. Then this DC waveform will then pass it through the filter. The filter now will try to smooth out the pulsating DC waveform and we're gonna end up with a DC waveform with AC ripples, all right? So this waveform now will go through the regulator. Once it passes through the regulator, then you're gonna have a pure DC signal or DC waveform. So that's it for part one of B. For part two, it says, name the test instrument that is used to show a visual display of the voltage waveform at any point in the circuit. So this test instrument is called the oscilloscope. 
So that's if a part of B. For part C, it says, figure one shows the plan of a meeting room, which has three entrance exit points. One, two, three, and two lumps not drawn to scale. All right, so here is figure one, the meeting room. So we have uh, three entrance and exit point. So one is here, another one is here, and another one is here, and we have uh, the two lumps. So part one of C, it says using figure one, design a three-way switching circuit that may be used to turn all the room lights on or off from each entrance exit point. All right. So here we have the schematic diagram. So we have two lumps being controlled from three positions. All right. So here are the two lumps, L1 and L2, and here are the three switches. S1, S2, and S3. So that's it for part one. All right, let's move on to part two now. So it says, on the drawing in C1, label the type of switch to be installed on each of the three entrance or exit point. So, here I have the join again. So at each point, so for point one, that would be a three-way switch. For point two, that would be a four-way switch. And point three, another three-way switch. All right, so those are the switches that will be installed at the different points. And that's it for part two of C. And that's it for this question.